Hello and welcome to Beauty Melange. Our personal space where we talk about skincare, life and well-being. If you don't know who I am, hello, I am Chitralekha and I am a big skincare enthusiast. And in my spare time, I like to read skincare and beauty journals or related research papers. To know more about me and my background, please look at the description of this video. Now that you've got an idea about me, let's talk about sunscreens. The struggle is real. You know, dermatologists all over the world have been teaching us to protect our skin from the sun. But due to lack of sunscreen regulations in India, we have no idea if a particular product is in fact actually a sunscreen or not. Does it provide the labeled SPF and the UVA protection? And even if you manage to find a trusted sunscreen brand, it either gets too heavy or too sticky or it gives too much of a white cast making you look somewhat like. So yes, I like most of you have been struggling to find that perfect sunscreen because finding that effective sunscreen which is easy to apply, which does not get too heavy or too sticky, which is affordable is like finding a guy who does not cheat. <laughs> Okay, sorry, that is a lame joke. So I tried some very popular sunscreens available today and here are the results. Okay, so this is a mineral sunscreen containing only one mineral filter that is micronized zinc oxide provides an SPF of 50 plus and a PA triple plus protection. Now zinc oxide is great for sensitive skin and it provides protection for both the UVA and the UVB radiation. So no issues with that. Also, it comes from one of the leading pharma companies in India. They have their own R&D or research and development department. So I trust that it does provide the labeled SPF protection. So it claims to give a matte finish. So it must be good for oily skin, right? This is where it gets tricky. You know, you need to apply a lot of sunscreen, not just a drop or two. And when you apply that required amount of sunscreen, which is approximately two fingers of sunscreen, it looks kind of matte-ish, but it feels too slippery and slimy. You know, even after an hour of application, it still feels slimy and slippery and it just doesn't seem to dry. The good things about this sunscreen are, it has a very simple ingredient list with one safe mineral filter. It gives a matte look, it is water resistant and it works kind of well under makeup. The Re-Equal Ultra Matte Sunscreen comes with an SPF 50 and a PA Quadruple Plus protection and it is water resistant. Ingredient wise, it's a hybrid sunscreen meaning it has both mineral filters like zinc oxide or titanium dioxide and chemical filters in it. So it does give a velvety smooth feel and does not make the skin oily for most people and it does not give any white cast. If you have a very dry skin, make sure you're wearing a moisturizer beneath it, but oily skinned people can skip it. Also, it works very well under makeup. Now about downsides of this sunscreen, I'll say just two things. It has fragrance in it. Okay, I understand there's an argument that fragrance is harmless if you are not allergic to it. But there's also some evidence that fragrance chemicals are phototoxic, meaning they show uh, toxic effects when exposed to the sun. So it's my suggestion that please avoid fragrance. It's better to avoid fragrance, at least in your sunscreens. But if you trust the brand, then please go ahead. Number two, not a downside actually, but rather I'm just curious. So Requel shared the in vitro test results of all of their sunscreens on their official Instagram page, which is a good thing to do, of course. But I couldn't find those results, any mention of them on their official website. I couldn't find. I'm curious why most of the brands when they take the pain to test out their products they generally uh, tend to put it everywhere, uh, advertise it and wear it like a badge of honor. So I was just curious. They should put the sunscreen results on their official website so that more people are aware of it. I think not only Requel but all brands should share their sunscreen test results. Coming to the next sunscreen, the UV Dope Silicone Gel Sunscreen. So it feels kind of like the Sun Cross Soft Sunscreen, but it gets absorbed quickly into the skin like a dream. 
gets completely dry giving no white cast and a great option for oily skin people. As for ingredients, it's a hybrid sunscreen containing both physical filters, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide along with a few chemical, new generation chemical filters, good filters like Tinosorb S, DHHP, etc. Downsides, only one, it has fragrance in it. I talked about why fragrance in sunscreens is not a good idea a few minutes ago. I really hope they come up with a fragrance free version of this sunscreen because then it can be you know my holy grail sunscreen. This is also a hybrid sunscreen containing a mix of chemical and physical filters or mineral filters but I have big issues with this sunscreen. I doubt how much UVA protection this sunscreen gives even though it claims to have a PA triple plus protection. We know UVA rays are responsible for accelerated skin aging, dark spots etc. So it's very important that your sunscreen protects you both from the UVB rays and the UVA rays. So it has avobenzone which filters the UVA rays but being very unstable it breaks down quickly very quickly under the sun. That's why it's very important that this avobenzone is stabilized using some other chemicals like octocrylene, octisalate etc. This sunscreen doesn't have any of them. Also it is not mentioned if they indeed have stabilized avobenzone using some other technique. In short, the plus point of this sunscreen is it is very affordable but I do not feel confident about its UVA protection level so I cannot recommend this. I think if you must, you can use the SPF 80 plus version of this sunscreen because it seems to have a better UVA protection. No questions about it, this sunscreen gives the best UV protection at least on today's list. Now about the texture, look. It, this sunscreen is meant for normal to dry skin. Obviously, if you have oily or combination skin, it feels a bit heavy, but not greasy or sticky or oily. It feels heavy. And if you have oily skin and you live in a hot and humid area like Kolkata or Mumbai, stay away from this. It gives a bit of a white cast that reduces after some time. Now, although it claims to give an invisible texture, but on regular Indian skin tone, it gives a whitish glow little bit not too much and it did not sting my eyes or my skin but some people with sensitive skin feel that it stings around the eyes mostly people who have started using a retinol or a chemical exfoliant recently their skin barrier is already in a vulnerable position so for those people this sunscreen might sting a bit the bioderma sunscreen i will recommend if you have oily skin is the aqua fluid one it is very lightweight and absorbs very easily into the skin but this one is pricey yes so if you can afford it please go ahead because this is one of the most trusted sunscreens all over the world so that's it my girls and guys i know there are many other sunscreens you suggested me to review and i will definitely review them as early as possible Thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel if you like my content and please do not forget to hit the bell notification so that I can reach you on time.